Hi everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. Today we are going to be setting up my budget binder for 2024. So if that is something you are interested in, stay tuned. Okay, so if you have been here for any length of time, you know that this is my current budget binder. It is something that I pieced together from an old Happy Planner, from the insides of an old Happy Planner, and I will be doing the same type of thing for 2024. So um, let me just explain a little bit about that. So the Happy Planner, if you're not familiar, has um, different layouts. This is the classic size. It's seven, uh, seven inches wide by nine and a quarter tall. And um, a lot of people are familiar with, um, oh, this is not it. Hold please. Okay, so a lot of people are familiar with the um, classic layout, which is a weekly spread. You really don't need to know all this, but I'm gonna tell you anyways, because you know me, I like to chit chat. So this is the weekly spread from Monday to Sunday, and it's just um, basically columns that are cut into thirds. Uh, this is my work planner that I purchased for next year, for 2024 for work. Um, what I did, this is an old Happy Planner. It was from July of 2022 through December of 2023. It's an 18 month planner. And this planner was the dashboard layout like this, where it has your errands, get it done, anything that you like your to do's over here. And then like maybe your appointments and your schedules on this side. This layout is what I wanted for my faith planner for 2023. So this is the faith planner for 2023 and I wanted to do my um, my scripture writing. Let me just get to, um, sorry, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I wanted to do my scripture writing on this side, which is this side. And then I wanted to do my journaling on this side, which is this format. So I purchased the Faith Happy Planner and then took out from, De from January to December of 2023, I took out these pages and put them in my Faith Planner. And I took out the Faith Planner pages and put them in here um, because it was a 2023 planner. These are the Faith pages that I took out of here and I just put them in here. So basically what I'm trying to say is that this is an old planner and I'm going to be using these, um, these monthly tabs, January to December. And that's why January starts down here rather than up here is because it's an 18 month planner. So I am going to, um, I'm going to take out all of the extras and only leave these dividers. Hang on, hold please. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to think. What I'm going to do actually is I'm gonna take off the cover because I'm not gonna use these rings. These rings are too big for now um, because I'm not gonna have a lot of pages in the planner. So I'm going to um, trade them out for these smaller discs. Um, so we'll just do that as we, as we go. So I'm going to take off the covers. Okay, so now that I have the covers, I'm going to take out the 
monthly tabs because that's basically all I want from this planner are these tabs. So um, we'll just, let's see, let's just start with December. Start with December and work backwards. Aren't these dividers pretty? Okay, so I have taken out all of the monthly tabs that I want. So now I can just take all of this extra and just put it to the side because <laughs> I don't need it. So this is basically what my budget binder is going to look like for next year. Um, and then we need to go ahead also and set up my monthly page because I only have half of a month and it's not even for the correct year. So what I have, let me put these to the side, are my monthly pages. And these are available in my Etsy shop. It is the um, Happy Planner size. They're also available in letter size. And this one has a, a larger uh, gutter, gutter um, on the right hand side so that I could put it on the left page. There's also um, an option with a larger gutter on the left side so that you can put it on the right page. Or I also have um, a two page spread similar to what this would have been. Um, that's also available in my Etsy shop, all undated. Um, you can just print them and use them over and over again for your own personal use. Um, so anyways, these are the ones in my shop for the happy planner size with the right gutter because I do plan on putting it on the left page. And as you can see, there's cut lines so that you know exactly where to cut and then hole punch along the side. So I am going to cut all of these down. I'll just do the first one with you. So I'm just going to cut along the cut lines. Um, it's really easy if you have a paper cutter. <laughs> um, and just line it up. Okay, so now it is sized to fit in the Happy Planner. To fit right in here. So all we need to do is hole punch it. So I have my hole puncher and I'm just going to hole punch it. And then this will fit right onto here. Just like that. So then I will get my tape runner. This is just um, adhesive, uh, like adhesive tape runner. And I'm just going to um, run it along the sides of my paper. And then just turn it over and try to match up the paper to the best of my ability. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I have January monthly page. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them. I'm gonna cut them all down and I'm gonna stick them all in onto my little tab, tab separators, dividers, tab dividers, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have, put all of my monthly calendars onto my dividers. And they're and like I said, they're all undated. And also just so you know, I it's my personal preference to have um, this size of a of a budget planner. The printables that I make, I make in the classic happy planner size, but I also make it in just a regular 
letter size eight and a half by 11. So you don't have to have this kind of binder, this kind of setup. You could totally put it in a three ring notebook like this and just print it out in letter size. Print it out letter size, three hole punch it, stick it in a three ring binder and you'll be good to go. Um, because like I said, the printables that I have on my shop are Happy Planner size and letter size. So depending on your preference, this is just my preference. Um, I like this size, it's a little more compact um, and it's just the amount of room that I need, not too much extra or anything like that. So um, all of my dividers are in. I also went ahead and printed my expense trackers. Um, these are also available in my Etsy shop as part of the budget bundle. Um, and let me just show you, move this out of the way. These are all of the um, products that I have in my shop. So I have the envelope challenge. Um, most of my trackers come in portrait and landscape. There are a few exceptions. This credit card payoff is only landscape. Um, I do have emergency, month ahead, new car. The pool savings tracker is landscape only. Um, the Roth IRA trackers um, are portrait and landscape and they're designed for if you get paid twice per month or if you get paid bi-weekly. Um, have vacation with the cruise ship, vacation with palm tree, vacation with the globe, like if you're traveling. Um, I do have a monthly savings challenge bundle. This um, this one is portrait and landscape. See? Landscape, portrait. Um, and each of the icons, you can assign your own dollar amount. Okay. Um, this one is landscape only, and this one has the icons for 5 or $10 each with the potential to save $200. And then I also made it, this one is landscape only, this is 4 by 6 The other trackers are 3 by 6 so they'll fit in um, the standard binder envelope, those little zipper pouches. Um, but this is four by six. It will fit in a uh, recipe card sleeve or a photo sleeve. And again, this is landscape only, and you do assign your own um, dollar amount. These are category trackers, black and white. I also have multicolor ones. Um, I think this is like eight pages of different colors. This is my budget worksheet and in the bundle, which is originally why I got this out. So in the budget bundle, you get the budget worksheet. This is version one um, with an area for your sinking funds. Version two has a larger area for bills, a little bit more income and expenses, and your sinking funds would be a separate worksheet. So you get the budget worksheet version one, version two, the sinking funds worksheet, the expense tracker, cash envelope breakdown, teller slips, and the black and white category trackers, all in the budget bundle on my shop. Um, so I printed the expense trackers, and then um, the reason why I didn't print the budget sheet yet to go into my binder, oh, and these are all letter and happy planner size, so whichever size you prefer. Um, the reason I didn't print these out to go into my binder yet is because I am doing a lot of shuffling around right now. I haven't decided, and I and I do shuffle around a lot, um, but I type in my own categories um, because, <laughs> because I created these worksheets. I can go in and type in my own categories, and then um, the same with my sinking funds tracker. The ones you guys purchase are all blank. So um, because I'm still moving items, you know, from different areas, um, I moved my kids up into priority and things like that. Things are very fluid around here, <laughs> um, depending on 
the month, I guess, or my situation. So that is the reason I didn't print my budget worksheets. I usually print them when I get paid. And then I take a look at it, if, see how if, um, my categories, if they are where I want them to be, then I'll go ahead and print and then cut it down and then hole punch it and then put it in my binder. So, um, but yeah, those that whole bundle is really beneficial for people who are just starting. Um, and again, that's in my Etsy shop and it is, um, letter size and classic happy planner size. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my expense trackers or cut them down um, and hole punch them and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have cut everything down, all of my expense trackers. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one in each month. I've been doing really good since I started budgeting um, in March. When I started budgeting in March, I had like a page and a half of expenses, but after that I kind of panicked and I've been doing really good about keeping it to pretty much a page. Um, I recognize there, there's going to be some months where I go over depending on what my, um, my needs are for a particular month um, or, you know, especially in December, of course, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go in November and December, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go over um, a page um, because I do also put in here whenever I spend out of my sinking funds. So that will probably run over into a page or two and then I can just, you know, I can print more if I need to, but I'm gonna try to limit myself to one page of expenses per month. And of course, give myself grace if I go over, but um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. So now each month has the calendar and my expense tracker. And then another thing that I have at the end of my binder is this area, this trackers. Um, I made this with a little tab, I just called it trackers. And here I had a printout of all my bills and when they're due. So I did another one for this planner only because it's different. Like I don't have, or um, my internet went up, so it's not $75 anymore, it's $125. My cell phone Verizon went up, it's not $177 anymore, it's $193. And then I no longer have the Amazon or the Home Depot. So I went ahead and made another um, little card just so that I know when my bills are due. And then I also have this tracker that I keep, um, I did for, I just compiled this because I wasn't budgeting in 2022, so I just went through my um, bills. And then for 2023, I was tracking for each month how much my gas was, gas for like um, heating my home gas, and then water, trash, my internet, my cell phone bills, my electricity, and then the total for the month. So this is where I'm tracking, I kind of like to have a little snapshot of it, um, and then I make any notes down here. So like my water bill in August was 152. So it was way out of line with the average. And that was because we had to refill our pool. So I just made a note down here. So once this year is over, I'm gonna take this page, this divider and put it into the new binder. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna go to the end here after December and I'm going to put my new tracker for 2024 so that I can begin to track those things and then my bills just so that I know when they're due. I kind of have a good idea of when they're due um, because I've been doing this for a bit now but um, I just like to have it back there just in case. So, um, so yeah, I think I am set up. I just need to go in and date all of my months and then another thing I like to do is highlight my paydays in green. And just put payday, payday, and then highlight it in green. And go to December so you can see a plain month. Yep, I had, oh, I'm gonna get paid three times in December. So um, I like to do that for my paydays. And then um, as we go month per month, I will print out my budget worksheet which is this, and 
uh, let's go to November. So I will print out my budget worksheet and my sinking funds tracker um, each month, just in case I change around my categories. So for now, this is what my budget binder is gonna look like for the coming year. And then I will probably, because this is already getting full, um, and this was only from March to December. So I will probably end up changing out the discs for bigger discs at some point during the year next year. But for now, yeah, I think it's, I think it's cute. Pretty cute. So I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. Um, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And also, um, I think, I'm going to have this video go live on Saturday, November 25th, which is the day after Black Friday, but I'm going to have a Black Friday sale in my Etsy shop starting Friday the 24th, and it's going to go through um, Sunday the 26th. So I hope you will um, check out my shop. It's got a lot of great stuff over there, especially if you are... Um, planning to start budgeting your money or even if you are already budgeting your money there's tools in my shop available to kind of help you along that journey and fun ways to track your savings and things like that um and then for those of you who aren't already budgeting if that is part of your new year's resolution or something you want to start in the new year um, be sure to check out my shop as well um and you don't always have to wait until the new year to start budgeting. I started in March, which is not anywhere near, you know, January. But, you know, it's never too late to start budgeting. You can start at any time. Um, my, like I said, my my monthly things, they're all undated. So if you don't, if you want to start in March, then you don't need to print January or February. You can just start here in March and date it however you, however you need to. Um, and my budget worksheets... Let me go here. My budget worksheets can work for any budget. It's not a monthly budget. It's not an every week budget. It is doable for any pay cycle. So um, yeah, I hope you will check out my shop. It is linked in the video description below. And um, if you have any questions, please also leave them down below. I will get back to everyone who comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. And again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go check out my shop and heart my shop if you like it. And um, I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Okay.